Do you love rebuilding clubs in Football Manager? Then look no further than this video because in this video, I'm going to give you my top five clubs to rebuild in the MLS. The MLS is such a great league to rebuild clubs in. It's got so many quirks and so many talented youngsters and these clubs will absolutely make you fall back in love with rebuilding clubs in Football Manager. <laughs> In fifth place is FC Dallas. They are a top side in the Major League Conference, but their last Major League Cup final appearance was in 2010, so a very long time ago now. They have won a couple of decent things in the past. They have won the MLS Community Shield, the MLS Cup runners-up in 2010, as mentioned, and a winner of the Major League Western Conference in 2010 so their success has come a very long time ago now in terms of the finances they've got 13 million pound in the bank no net debt and no transfer debt which is absolutely incredible to see as part of a rebuild series now their squad i like to say their squad is very decent for this level they got you will remember big ballers like isa Ilaramendi, who used to play for real sociedad he's got some brilliant attributes for the mls and it's probably far too good to be playing in mls at this stage in his career the only thing that lets him down is the pace they've got paul Ariola, an american international with fairly good attributes he came back from swansea back to the mls after a stint after joining from dc united he is a very good winger at this level alan velasco is the star talent in this squad if you haven't had alan velasco on football manager yet where have you been living? This guy is an incredibly talented left winger who has got plenty of plenty of ability and will make you big money whilst moving to a big European side. But Jesus Ferreira is the guy that you can pin your hopes on up front. 37 goals in 114 games. May not say that, but this guy can either play at cam or as an advanced forward. He's got 23 caps for the US squad and 15 big goals. Dallas are a team that I've got fervent support and a big fan base. Can you take Dallas back to the MLS Cup for the first time since 2010? Sporting Kansas are the next club that I am going to recommend in rebuilding clubs in the MLS. And if you love these save ideal videos and rebuild videos, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. If just a few of you who were watching this video subscribe to the channel. It would make a huge difference to me and my channel and i 100 percent appreciate all of the support that you guys show on a daily basis it means the world to me now sport in kansas they have got a very good reputation in the united states they have won a fair amount of competitions two mls cups one supporter shield one major league soccer eastern conference and one western conference so plenty of history there but as you can see they have been on the decline for the last few seasons and are not doing very very well now the club the club vision is simple reach the wild card finish mid table in the supporter shield and reach the latter stages of the us cup the finances are pretty decent 18 million pound in the bank no net debt and no transfer debt which is absolutely brilliant to see when you're rebuilding a club this is like a rebuilder's dream is what we want to see now this squad is very good you've got experienced mexican striker up front alan Polito, he looks absolutely cracked for the MLS. He's scored 14 goals in 31 games already since coming from Chivas. He could be big, the Mexican international. Tim Leobold is a left back that you re may remember has played at clubs like Hamburg, if you've done a Hamburg save in the past. He brings that German League experience to the MLS and is in his prime. A very, very good left back to have in this MLS season. Eric Thommy is another German brought in from Stuttgart. He has played 12 games for the club, scored three goals, brings that German connection on the left-hand side for Sporting Kansas and is a very good MLS player, it has to be said. But one of the players that stuck out to me is Johnny Russell. Derby Dundee fans will know him. He is a very good player. The former Scottish international has 14 caps and one goal for Scotland. He is going to be your talisman at this club. He's going to get the players going. But one of the players that really excites me is another young German centre-back. It's Robert Volada. He comes from Maribor in Slovenia. He's got a big, big future ahead of him. And he is one of the stars of this sport in Kansas squad. Will you take sport in Kansas back to the top and back to winning MLS Cups? Chicago is a city full of sporting greatness. From the Chicago Bulls to the Chicago Bears. I hope I'm getting that right. But they have another side in the league 
of the MLS that is looking to bring big success back to the football club since the 1990s. And that is the Chicago Fire. Absolutely love the logo, love the kits. They are very, very nice kits. And they're a club that's been in decline for a little while, but they have had success over the years. They have won an MLS Cup. They have won the Supporter Shield or East and a West Conference as well. So plenty of history there for the Chicago club. As you can see, they have been on the decline ever since 2016, 2017. They've not really been the team that they should have been and should have become. The club vision is to reach the MLS playoffs. They are going to build you a new stadium. So that's always great to see in the world of football. Reach the Supporters Shield top half finish and reach the latter stages of the US Cup. The finances are 41 million pounds they are a rich club a very very rich club but they do have 11 million pounds worth of transfer debt but just see it as this way you've got 30 million pound in the bank which is a hell of a lot of money in the mls let me tell you that for a fact the squad and the squad is very good i have to say they have got swiss legend jordan shakiri this guy has so much talent i feel like he's been around for about 50 years he's had such a varied career he's played for bayern for basel for inter milan for stoke for liverpool for leon and now chicago fire this guy is far too good to be playing on the mls in his day he is the swiss version of Lionel messi obviously he's not at messi's level but he's still a very good player kellen acosta is in another usa international that you will have in this squad he is very good comes in from lafc this season's got great attributes for the mls and is one of those homegrown players everyone loves to see now up front you've got cooperes chicago he was on loan at aa Ghent. now he's come back to chicago fire what a player he is gonna be for this football club he will be an absolute beast work rate finishing he's far too good to be playing in the mls another big big player in your safe but the player that sticks out the most to me is federico navarro he comes in from talares in argentina he's played 42 games for the club score three goals he's a 22 year old he's got plenty of plenty of talent and you'll probably be adding to your finances by selling this young man to a top european club they also have another player that i really really rate and that is young usa goalkeeper chris brady the future of american goalkeeping probably the best young goalkeeper since tim howard in the United States, in my humble opinion. Much better than goalkeepers like Brad Guzan. Will you take the fire back to the top and back to winning MLS Cups and back to being one of the best sides in the MLS? Coming in at runners-up is DC United. They were formed in 1996 and were a big MLS side in the early 2000s. The last time they won the MLS Cup was in 2000 and four which is not great they've had big success winning four of those mls cups four support support shields five eastern conferences as well and they should be a side that are much bigger than they are but as you can see the stretchery of this side has fallen away since 2007 they did make a brief reprieve in the mid 2010s but since then it's all been downhill and now are now one of the worst sides in the mls and they've had former managers like wayne rooney as well who didn't get anything out of this football club but you have the chance now to turn their fortunes around and the club vision is to challenge for the mls title reach the supporter shield top half and reach the last stage of the us cup these are big bold objectives that are going to be very very difficult to achieve in your first season in charge 17 million pound in the bank with 2.3 million pounds worth of net debt so treat it as if you've got 15 million pounds in the bank and you are going to be totally totally fine they don't have to pay that debt back by the look of it either so that's always great to see the squad is fairly decent Leeds fans will remember Matthias Klitsch. He has gone to DC United. He's a very good baller for this level. Experienced Polish international will bring that quality of playing in the Premier League to the MLS. Russell Kanusu, I've definitely killed his last name, but he's a former USA under-21 international. Has played 110 games for the football club. He's got decent attributes and is a good ball winner midfield player for the MLS. Christian Dajome, he is a Colombian Inter, he's a Colombian player who is very, very good. I was going to say international, but you haven't developed him there yet. He is a decent right winger or could be a good advance forward for this level. Now, the talent comes in. Gabriel Pirani. This guy has got stacks upon stacks upon stacks of talent. This guy will be very good. You'll make a lot of money by selling him to Europe. Or if you can keep him in your squad, he will do absolute bits for you. I am 100% in involved in that guy's career now does goals are they going to come from christian ben teke palace liverpool and villa man he is an absolute monster at mls level from a physical perspective 
His technicals are not the best. His mentals are okay, but he will get you goals in the MLS. If you play a system that uses a target man, this guy will be absolutely cracked at this level. It's mad to think he is still only 32 years of age. It feels like he has been around for 20 to 30 seasons. Will you take DC United back to being the most important side in MLS and rebuild them to an MLS winning side? Rounding off this list of best teams to rebuild in the MLS is no other than the LA Galaxy. They are a club with a huge amount of history. They have had legends play for them like Robbie Keane and David Beckham. He was the one who launched the club into the stratosphere by journey, joining them in the early 2000s. Their most recent win of the MLS Cup comes in 2014, but they have won so many competitions, five MLS Cups four supporter shields and eight Western Conference titles. They are a club that have been in decline, but there has been some shoots of results from 2020 onwards. They are on the up, but they do need an MLS trophy, having not won it, like I mentioned, since 2014. The, the board's vision is very simple. Reach the conference final. You have to finish. The, you finished in the supporter shield in the top four places and be competitive in the U.S. Cup. For the finances, they are a mega rich club out in America. They've got 43 million pounds, no net debt and no transfer debt. And plus, you will be managing in Los Angeles, California. Let me just say that. Make, make sure you have that in your mindset when you're managing them from home, that you are managing the LA Galaxy. They are one of the biggest sides in America. They have got some great players in their squad. Former Barcelona prospect Ricky Pooch goes there to play for the Galaxy. He's a very good Cam or central midfield player. He's far too good to be playing in the MLS and is potentially wasting some of his talent by playing out there. But for you, you don't care about that. You've got him in your squad. He's going to be an absolute beast. Martin Caceres, a lot of fans will remember him. He's played at a lot of places. Juventus, Lazio, Verona, Southampton, Sevilla. Many stints at Juventus, to name just some of them. He has got 116 caps for Uruguay. He's coming towards the twilight of his career, but will provide great experience for you at centre-half. You've got Dejan Lovlovic. I don't know how to say his last name, but he will bag you goals. This guy is a very, very good player. He's got 13 goals in 46 games for the Galaxy and is a Serbian international. They are stacked up front, and this guy is one of them who is very decent on this game. Japanese international Miki Yamane is playing for the Galaxy as well as he comes in from Kawasaki F Marinos in Japan. He's a very good right back or can play at center half as well. He is joined by the vastly experienced Maya Yoshida. 126 caps for the Japanese national side. An absolute mental monster. Southampton fans will remember him fondly. He was very good in the Premier League. For them, and another player who has got a lot of talent that hasn't lived up to it is also out here. Joseph Panstil, the Ghanaian international, comes in from Genk. He's plenty of pace, he's got some good technicals, he's far too good to be playing in the MLS. And you can make some money by developing him and Ricky Pooch at this football club. But there is one goalkeeper that I want to say is very good and is on sort of not on Chris Brady's level, but is also a very, very good player. And that is Bradley Scott. He's he's a decent backup keeper for you this season and could develop into being a very good MLS player. Will you take the Galaxy back to the days of David Beckham and Robbie Keane and make them the biggest and best club, not only in America, but in the whole continent of North America and bring that continental dominance that they require and the US dominance that they really, really need to get back? Will you rebuild the Galaxy into that kind of side? And there we have it. They are the top five clubs I would recommend to rebuild in the MLS. The MLS is such a fun league to take part in. It is one of the most enjoyable leagues you can. Once you get to get grips with all of their requirements and transfer restrictions, you will absolutely love this league as much as I do. It is so, so enjoyable. And maybe you could even manage the American national side at some point and try and get them the glory that they feel that they have in terms of other sports into the footballing world. Can you make them world champions at football? Can you rebuild any of these clubs? And if not, I will see you on another video.